Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Retrothon. Dad! Welcome to Midnight Resistance. So this is an arcade game that was poured over to the Genesis. It is... Mom! It is a Genesis uh, Contra clone, I guess you could say. Uh, it's actually a very good game for being a clone from Data East. Sis! I just, I just love like, leaving this on and like doing something else on my stream just like you know looking at my phone and having this on during when I'm doing runs and people come into my stream and they just see dad and they're like what on earth could this game possibly be so without further ado let's get started let me count down three two one go welcome to midnight resistance so as I said this is a contra clone but it has really weird controls uh, instead of holding down the button to shoot, shoot is a toggle. You throw the toggle on and off, and then there are two different ways to play. You can uh, do what I'm doing, where each time you have the B button held or pushed, you, uh... Am I playing on normal? I am playing on normal. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think I had the wrong difficulty on. I'm supposed to be doing easy. Easy. There we go. Alright. Let's do that again. Anyway, so, this game is so easy to just snap back into. Uh, it's a nice bite-sized game. If you enjoy Contra and if you enjoy Contra Rons, honestly, I'd really recommend you try this out. It's a really fun game. Uh, anyway, so the... Why is my B button not working? What? Okay, now hold on. I definitely, definitely set it to the correct... Rotational control. Okay. We want B1, easy, player 5. That's how we do it. And that's blast processing. You know what doesn't have blast processing? My brain. After I woke up literally like 10 minutes ago. Good morning, everyone. I was supposed to do this at 7 o'clock. Anyway, so, now that B is properly set, uh, every time I press B, I'm going to move counterclockwise, and then every next time I press it, I move clockwise. So, you do that to, uh, to aim, and it's, it's really funky, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's really hard to, to get used to, um, but once you do, it's, it's weirdly fluid. Like, this game has really, really, really weird controls. Uh, so we, normally we would go for, like, the, the spread shot, right? Because it's a Contra map. But no, Flame is actually freaking incredible in this game. We used to do, uh, spread shot, but we actually changed it. Oop, ah! Alright, I was hoping that would hit him. We actually changed it, and now Fire is our go-to. So it's a level-based uh, shoot 'em up with amazing music. This music's so good, and uh, <laughs> this is my my favorite way to kill things. Is just to do this. Uh, so we also picked up a uh, special weapon, which is the nitro. And uh, basically, every time you have your weapon going and you press up, you release a super weapon attack, and Nitro is by far the best one, uh, because it kills, like, everything in one freaking hit. Uh, remove some of the lag in that screen, too. Alright, so our first real boss. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with the, uh, the flame is the only thing that, like, goes through it. Everything else you have to, like, kind of get below it, actually, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Flame really speeds this game up. This game does have a lot of RNG in it, too. Uh, I could have gotten the uh, Supercharge, and uh, that would have allowed my weapon to do even more damage. But, unfortunately, did not get it. But hopefully we'll get it here. Although I'd also really like some, uh, some ammo. Please say that. Okay, so I'll get the ammo. 
and something of a nitro. So why am I doing these voices? Okay, so this game was originally an arcade game, uh, arcade classic. Uh, it used a rotational joystick. I forget the name for it. Uh, it was used in in like a, I don't know. It was used in a bunch of games where it's basically like a joystick. And then it has like a little like dial on the top that you spin, it's like an analog dial. Uh, and it allows you to spin around. And that explains why the control scheme is like this. Uh, because otherwise, why the heck would this be built this way? But the game was built with this rotational joystick in mind. Uh, so it's, it's kind of weird to have it ported to a controller that just does not have that kind of analog rotation. Um, but, uh, it's a really cool game, um, I really, really want to own it in real life. I also speedrun it, for the record, uh, and it has, it's basically the same exact game, slightly better looking, and it has voice lines, so every time you pick up items, it's like someone angrily, like someone's dad angrily, like, saying what item you picked up. Nitro! Supercharge! Spread shot, and it's just the best. All right, so <laughs> you use Nitro to kill all those things in one hit, which is just, I love. Nitro just eats uh, through things. It's just beautiful. And it goes. And the best part is uh, at the end of the game, you save some people, uh, and uh, the, there are two amazing lines that sadly we won't hear because we're playing the wrong version. Uh, ooh, super charge. Yes. Uh, but it's... THANKS, BRO! Which I really need to send to Brosentia, uh, <laughs> and have him put on his channel. Like, he really needs to know that that exists. And then the other one is, um, uh, your grandmother. Or, THANK YOU! And I'm not exaggerating, that's exactly what they sound like. Uh, okay, so this level is almost an auto-scroller. Like, all, all you do is hold right and just hit thing, hit like the attack when things get a little too close to you. It is incredibly easy. Uh, but we are coming up on one of the hardest bosses. Uh, let's see if I can do it without taking any damage. This game is actually really easy to just pick up and learn, but it is difficult to, like, grind down, so... Uh, ooh, okay, so first, the boss. So there's a bunch of planes in the background. Our weapon does enough damage to kill them as soon as they come through, but they also drop bombs, which we need to avoid. Mm, nope. Okay, so we didn't get the first pass. That's sad. I've gotten the first pass, like, so... Oh, no! Okay, I've gotten the first pass, like, so many times lately. Okay. So, that's fine. Just go like that. Uh, so... This game is pretty easy to pick up and learn, and uh, I picked it up at KM Lone Mouse Wolf's recommendation. Uh, he chose it for a Genesis Quest, so I streamed it on here for my first time, uh, and it was a lot of fun, and I was like, yeah, you know what, this is like a 15 minute run. I could definitely see myself speed running this game, and uh, I did. Uh, Cam Lone Mouse Wolf is the only runner. There are like a million to billion categories, which is kind of silly. Uh, and, um... Then, more people started to pick it up. They saw me run it. And this is kind of like a thing that happens with me, is that, like, people see me running a cool game, and then they, they, they want to run it. Like, I've gotten literally, like, a dozen people to run Ristar. Um... And, uh, the world record passed literally nine times in three hours. Or, excuse me, in three days. Oh, no. I'm getting out of my own scale. Oh. Okay, so... Oh! Oh! Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. So, right, now we're in a safe spot. So we're going to go ahead and destroy all this. Alright, so... Normally you'd have to like stand on the ladder and kind of dodge it, dock, duck and weave, but oh no, I don't want to do that. So he's, he uh, has six shots, and then you duck and you can just handle it with the flame. With spread shot, it still doesn't hit everything. So that's one of the reasons why we switched to flame.
I was one of the people who got world record, by the way. I'm not, you know, just not tooting my own horn, but like, I'm amazing, and y'all should definitely, definitely bow. I am the Genesis Queen, of course. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're coming up on the third to last level. Well, this is the third to last level. Uh, I like this one because it shows off that you can attack things, that things are off screen, like before they're on screen. So, like, you can just kill that thing before it even comes on screen. Alright, so I grabbed this. This is the barrier. And this allows me to do this section without hurting my thumbs. <laughs> like, if I had the rotation joystick, this would be easy. But, uh, I don't even need to bother. It's so good. You will never, Demarine, you will bow before your queen! Sorry, excuse me, I'm, I'm getting a little into it. Metro carries us through. It's funny because in the um, in the arcade version, we actually don't use Nitro. We use uh, uh, homing missiles. There are two other items. There are homing miss homing missiles, which are exactly what it says on the tin. And then like uh, I think it's called like flood, and it just creates a giant rain of of bullets from above. Which you'd think would be awesome, but it's actually really not that good. Just destroy all of those before any of them are seen. Alright, so we have a cutscene now. We have a little bit of story. What's the story of this game, you ask? I don't know, but we're about to find out some of it. Stand right here to limit the amount of movement you have. Ha ha ha! We have your family! Get ready, everyone. Say it with me. In just a few seconds. It's a bunch of people tied up. Dad! Help! My research has put my family at risk. Stay a while and listen. Keep coming! You and family will die! I freaking love that cutscene so much! Just the weird face, the the gratuitous, not correct English. It's just so beautiful. I love it. I love it to death. So now our family's been kidnapped. There's some like weird thing about like me being someone who's taking on like a corrupt like like a mobster or something. There's, there's like two different stories, one in one in the English version and one in the uh, Japanese version, and I cannot ever get them like, I, I get them mixed up all the time, so I'm not even going to really bother. So this boss is really awesome, but when we have the flame weapon, we can just kill it in one cycle and it's just gone. Like you're supposed to, it, it goes back and forth and you're supposed to kill all the, all the, the turrets, but you only need to kill the central ones, so kind of like lessens the impact slightly. Alright, so this is the uh, last real level. There is one more level after this though. I'm going to get that barrier. Let's grab that. Actually, that was a bad idea. I mean, it's not really a bad idea necessarily. So, uh, the reason I was like, it's a bad idea is because your, your family has gotten kidnapped and uh, you need to save them using these keys. We've been picking up these keys which give you power-ups throughout the game. Uh, however, this time it saves your family, so we'll save Dad. Dad! Save my bro, uh, we'll save my sis, and we'll save Grandma. Thank you! Is exactly how she sounds in the arcade version. So, uh, sorry Mom and Grandpa, uh, yeah, didn't have enough keys. Uh, there is no, like, real difference if you don't save your family or not. Like, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, welcome to, like, a really, really bad dairy nightmare. Like, I've had way too much, like, cheese and milk before bed. And just everything is way off. Oh. Sniped me right at the end. 
It's okay, this boss goes down really quickly. It's a nightmare of a boss, but it goes down really fast. It, tur it turns from, like, Casey Jones to a terrifying floating head. Oops. To a brain! And time will be in just a second. And time. And the only difference is if you uh, don't save all your family, they just... They don't show up on this ending screen. Hey, uh, mm, eh, whatever. I can make another sis. I, I, I can get another sis. I can get another mom. Whatever. GG. Hashtag. Who needs family? <laughs> That's definitely a uh, definitely a good message for the end of my stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, greatly appreciate it. I love this game, and if you haven't tried it out, you should definitely check it out. If you like Contra, you'll like it. The controls are a little bit weird. I do recommend uh, B1 as the control scheme. Um, well, uh, you and family didn't die, but and family died. And I suppose that's what matters. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much. I'll be back for another game in a little bit. Not in a little bit, but like tomorrow. <laughs> so stick around. Bye, friends. Have a good rest of the retro time.